Hi, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's flow is to help you to find a little ease at opening uh, around your collarbone area, your chest area, right? Or maybe uh, uh, losing up your tight shoulders, right? right? By losing up, creating more space right here, you can breathe in more air. Uh, just feel in, relaxed and uh, happy and, you know, and then prevent um, shoulder injuries, right? So you, when you create more space right here, and you just uh, have a better shoulder health. All right, let's get started. Start with the child, extended the child pose, bring your feet together, and you wanna bring your arms forward, and hips to your heels. So you wanna bring your hips to the heels, and then pretend you're crawling on the floor with your arms forward, so you can stretch out your shoulder blades. And trying to bring your chest and the forehead to the floor. You can stay here a little longer. Maybe give your, maybe turn your head to the towards the right, and switch to the side and turn your head to your left. Just give your neck muscle a little release right here. And slowly come back to the top, right? Bring your knees together. You can sit on your heels and interlace your hands. Or just open your chest, op open your chest up, broaden your collarbone area, right? Feel the opening of your, of your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And if you can, maybe lean back a little bit. Bring your hands behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And this feels super good. All right, keep your bandhas engaged, Vulyana Bandha and Mula Bandha engaged. And now release, come back to the center and extend your left arm out, cross your chest and using your hand, push this arm towards the back of the mat. Breathe and continue squeezing lower part of your belly and release and switch to the side and just cross your right arm and using your left hand, left elbow, push this arm towards the back of the mat. And release, and it's come back to a tabletop. So make sure your shoulders over the wrist, and you want to engage. Uh, just a couple of cat and cow right here. Just, just warm up your upper body. Inhale, gaze up. Then exhale, belly to, to spine. And one more time. Inhale, gaze up. Then exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine. And breathe, pretend you're pushing a door open above your upper back. And now release, just bring your spine to a natural state. And now you wanna uh, turn your head towards the outside of your mat. Right, right hand towards outside the right mat and extend the left arm up. And then bring your left hand behind your back. Rotate this left shoulder towards the sky. We we'll continue uh, opening up our shoulders. Right, especially the left side of their shoulders. Breathe, breathe, and lean forward, and then come back to center, switch to the side. And bring your left hand towards the outside of the left mat, and extend the right arm up, gaze to the sky, and bring your hands back. And breathe, you wanna to rotate this shoulder towards the sky. And release, and come back to center. And from here, just push yourself up to a downward facing dog. So keep your knees bent, right, if you need to. Trying to bring your, squeezing your belly, bring your belly to your upper thighs. You're pushing the sit bone towards the sky. Just breathe. And now bring your left hand to the outside, the right ankle, and turn your uh, face or look towards the sky through your armpits right here. Just breathe. And release and come back to center, switch to the side. And turn your left hand to the, grab your left ankle with your left hand, turn your, um, look towards the sky through your armpits. And from here, release. And let's take a two big step, bring your feet between your hands. Come back to a half forward bend, right? So for half forward bend, you wanna squeeze in your belly, right? Lengthen your upper body, right? Push the back of the, the hips towards the sky. Then exhale, forward bend. You can keep your knees bent if you need to. 
and then release your hands, palms open, and inhale, hands up. Then hands back to your heart, and inhale, hands up. Then exhale, hands back to the floor, and inhale, come up to half forward bend. Then exhale, hands back to the floor, step back to the plank or tabletop, and lower yourself to chaturanga right here. Then up, come up to upper facing dog. Broaden your chest bone area, right? Roll your shoulder blades down. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, take two big steps forward, and inhale, come up. Come back to full, uh, half forward bend, keep your hip, uh, hips, uh, uh, keep your deep, the belly part squeezed, and then exhale, forward bend. And from here, you wanna um, release your hands, inhale, come up. Bring your palms touching, and hands back to your heart. So now bring your hands behind your back, uh, to support your lower back, and you want to keep your quads engaged, press your feet towards the floor, right? Keep your mula bandha engaged. So inhale, lift the ribs away, right? Pretend there's an imaginary wall in front of your hip area. So you want to press your hips gently against the wall and release, squeeze your shoulder blades together and look towards the back of your mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and release, come back to center. And now inhale, bring your hands up again. Then exhale, forward bend. All right, from forward bend right here, and you wanna walk your hands, you wanna grab the outside left ankle with your right hand and re reach over, grab your right hand, grab, trying to grab outside of your left, right, right ankle right here. You just turn your, come to presso, right? Turn your upper body towards the sky right here. Right, so really open up your right shoulders. And release, come back to center right here. And now grab the outside the right ankle with your uh, left arm and reach over, right, left hand, trying to grab outside the left ankle right here. And just turn your upper body towards the sky. Right, so if you cannot reach for your ankle, left ankle, you can just grab the left armpits, right, grab a sleeves right here. Just rotate this uh, shoulder towards the sky. Now I'll release and come back to center and exhale, forward bend and inhale, hands up and bring your top palms touching back to your heart. All right, then inhale, bring your hands up again. Then exhale, forward bend and inhale, come up to half forward bend. Then exhale, step back to plank or tabletop and lower yourself to chaturanga right here. Come back to cobra facing dog. Then exhale, downward facing dog. So pivot the left foot, step right foot forward, come to warrior one. And inhale, hands up. And then straighten the front leg, bring your hands behind your back. All right, come to reverse warrior. So let me show you my hands. All right, reverse warrior. Palms touching, you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together and then turn your, both legs are straight. Then come to the pyramid pose, right? So inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And another option is grab opposite wrist, right? So again, we wanna open up our chest, shoulder area. Um, you wanna bring your palms together, both legs are straight, right? Then inhale, lift the ribs away, then exhale, forward bend. Right, keep your inner thighs engaged, hugging your inner thigh towards the midline, engage your core and release your forehead and come to pyramid pose right here. Two, two more breaths here. And then bend the knee, bring your hands back to the, to the floor and you can uh, go through a vinyasa right here and come back to the downward dog. Then pivot the right foot and step left foot forward and come back to where you're on. And inhale, hands up. Keep your bandhas engaged. 
Right? When you look up to the sky, you shift your perspective, you really have to engage your core. And now bring your hands back, both legs are straight, come back to reverse uh, prayer, hands in reverse prayer. Maybe this time you can walk a little bit higher, palms touching, right? squeeze your shoulder blades together, inhale, lift the ribs away, then exhale, forward bend. Hugging your inner thigh towards each other. And release, bend the leg. Bring your hands up to the floor, push yourself back to downward dog. And from downward dog, and you wanna take two big steps forward. Come back to return to half forward bend. Then exhale, forward bend. And then from here, walk your feet, knees touching, and return to the chair. Right, palms touching, squeezing your belly, Pretend someone's pulling your uh, hips toward the back of the mat and you're reaching for the sky. The hands back to your heart and turn your head to the, come to, um, come to twist here. You want to press your palms uh, firmly together, right? And so open your chest area, continue broadening your chest area and then release, switch to the side. Now release and slowly come back to the top. And just bring your hands next to your body. And let's take two big steps forward, right? And so turn your toes in, heels out. And come to wide leg standing forward bend, right? Keep your, uh, so you wanna squeeze in your belly. Keep your pelvic floor muscle lifted, right? So you can go a little deeper in this pose. And you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together, right? Inhale, lift the ribs away. Then exhale, forward bend. Right, trying to bring your forehead to the floor and leave your hands away from your body, pointing your hands toward the front of your body. Breathe. As right, so if you're squeezing your belly a little deeper, and then you can, you can go a little deeper with this pose. And now release and slowly come back to the top. And now just walk your feet a little closer, right? And then just bring the, um, inhale, bring your right arm up, bend your elbows, right? Swing this arm behind your back and just come to a standing uh, arm, opening up shoulders. Right, so you wanna Keep your core engaged, tugging your tailbone. Just reach, reach. Maybe have your palms touching one day, right? It's okay if you have a strap, just grab a strap right here. Right now, release and switch to the side. And inhale, bring your hands up, bend your elbows, and then swing the right arm up. And now release and come back to center and just come down to a squat right here. All right, so bring your hands in front of your heart and extend your right arm out. We are using the back of the right bicep, push the knee open, extend this left arm up and bring your hands behind your back. Or you can go for your bind right here. I right, just open the left shoulder even deeper and breathe. And release, come back to center and switch. Extend your left arm out, right? Extend the right arm up and bring the right hand behind your back. And now I'll release and just come back to center on that right here. And I'll just come up to your, come down to your knees, right? So. So you wanna keep your quads engaged, right? Lift your elbows, uh, pelvic floor up, keep your bandas engaged, squeezing your belly, then bring this hand behind your back, right? Like we did earlier standing, right? So this is a little back bend right here and also work on our shoulders. You wanna inhale, lift the ribs away, then exhale, you wanna go for your back bend right here. Breathe, breathe, pushing the hips forward. Then release your right hand to touch your right heel, left hand. 
and release your head. And slowly come back to the top, hands back to your heart, and release. Just lower yourself to a, a, to a rabbit pose right here. So you want to bring your top of your head to the floor. All right, so we just counter pose, we just, what we just did. And just hands, grab your hands, your heels, and come up to your, bring top of your head to the floor. And release and come back to center right here. And just bring your feet together. We do, we're gonna do a quick hip release right here. All right, so bottom your feet together. Inhale, lift the ribs away, then exhale, forward bend. Then slowly come back to the top, and now bring your knees uh, together. Right, so right knee over the left knee, and stack your knee together, and then bring the right hand above your left hand. Uh, bring your elbows, bring this hand behind your back, to me, your right fingertips, and inhale, lift the ribs away. You want to lengthen your upper body, bring your chin over your knee. Breathe. And slowly come back to the top, and release, and switch to the side. Let's see how left side feels right now. And inhale, lift the arms away, right, and then bring your Hands behind your back and squeeze in your belly, create more space for your upper body. And release. Bring your chin over your knees and stay here for two more breaths. And slowly come back to the top. Now keep your legs crossed, right? We're gonna come to a seated cross position pose, right? So keep your so you want to bring these hips right here, right? hug this right knee closer to your chest. And you want to bring this elbow outside the knee, bring your hands in front of your, so you want to turn your body, upper body towards the uh, right side of your torso, right? Then bring your hands in front of your heart. Push the hands, palms together, right? So you feel the opening of your chest area. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And now release. And slowly come back to the top and switch to the side. All right, so hug your knee, uh, left knee, cross your left knee, and turn your torso to your left. And then elbows outside the knee, palms touching. All right, release. And come back to center. And just lower yourself back to the floor now. Just hug your knee to your chest. Slowly roll your, uh, rock yourself from right to left. And you want to extend your arms out and bring your knees to your right, left, uh, lower your knee to the left side body first. And then come back to center and switch to the side. And just hug your knee to your chest and take a deep breath in, bring your forehead to your knees and just thank your able body to give you this beautiful practice and uh, you should feel more specialist inside of your, around your collarbone area and your shoulder area and take this energy with you to your day and just letting go of all the tensions and stress of your body, just rest right here. And give yourself permission to rest and to completely relax. Now slowly roll yourself to the side. <laughs> and knees to your chest and push yourself up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video brings you a relief uh, for the shoulder area, right? So you go out there and feel more space 
around your chest and the shoulder area. You can breathe in more air. You just feel joyful for no reason. All right, thank you for watching. Namaste.